What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. If you want more, stick around for a step-by-step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you how to add tables to any SharePoint site page. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands because I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's get that timer rolling, let's rock it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to edit that site page and we're going to go and we're going to add in a text web part. That's where you are able to add tables. We're going to get the cursor. We're going to click on tables. Boom. You just added a table. You did it. All right. Now we're going to slow it down. We're going to take a step by step and dig a little deeper into some of the cool stuff that these tables can do and we'll play around with colors and stuff. So before we do that, please like, subscribe and comment and share with someone who you think might find some value thank you so much let's get grooving so we've got this here and i said i would slow it down and what i do is i will go back you know we'll redo the very beginning of it from scratch so if you want a refresher here it is all right we're gonna um we're just gonna delete this web part and we're gonna pretend like it was blank now typically when you create a new page you're gonna get a text web part out the gate it's just going to be there. Uh, but if you want to add a table in a different uh, text web part, then here's how you add web parts. You're going to hit the plus there, and you're going to scrolly scroll, find text, or you could type text, and it would show up in the search bar. And then we're going to look for the table icon right there. There you go, table. So it gives you a 3x3 three three out the gate. You want to add more. Um, we can tab. Go to the last cell, tabby tab tab. There you go. If you want to add more stuff like, um, you know, oh, that's insert. There you go. Okay. And you can get, I mean, it's all there. Like delete, delete table, delete the whole table if you want to. But you can, you know, insert to the right, to the left, uh, insert below, above. I mean, just all the normal stuff that you see with tables. You can align it within this particular text web part. So if you go right click here, table alignment in the middle. We can go to the right, okay? We do all sorts of neat stuff. Uh, if you want to add another table, you can click down here, I do believe. There we go. And then we can insert another table. However you want to use that, knock yourself out. Uh, we can even do some nice little styles here. Look at this. Oh, that's styling. Look at how fresh that is. Look at that. Ooh, wow. Look at that. It's jamming. Oh, Wow, man, I'm telling you, woo, we are getting jazzy with it. Oh, mm, that's giving Windows 3.1 vibes right there. And the, ooh, yeah, there you go. Boom. Wow, that is, that's pretty cool stuff, okay? And then we can delete rows and all that jazz, delete columns. I mean, all the col all the table stuff is there. It's there. So there you go. Hope this has been helpful. Enjoy um, building all these super cool tables uh, inside your site pages. Can't wait to see them. All right, remember, do the best you can with what you got. And SharePoint rocks, so do you. We'll see you next time, y'all. And here's some bonus footage of me publishing that so you could actually see what it looks like once it's been published, Because uh, since I didn't show you that in the before the ending. Sorry. All right, next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.